Hey guys, my name is Jason and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing my 18 inch, 120 pound aqua bag. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm gonna start by saying this is my favorite bag to hit. I would say that the reason why these bags are so fun is because you know, because of the hydro technology. The bag is filled with water, which makes you really able to transfer your power into your shots. So if you guys can see this uh, indentation I can make through the bag, there's no repercussion to me or my joints. Everything I put in goes in and the bag takes a shot like no other bag I've ever hit in my life. <laughs> Talking about the colorway, it's beautiful just to look at um the specific color is called fireball orange and on the aqua training bag website they have tons of different colors and options to choose from so naturally some people might wonder what the difference is between the 75 pound aqua bag that i have and the 120 pound well i want to say that the 75 pound bag is a great all-around bag for one it's cheaper and it weighs less so you know if you want something easier to move around transport 75 pound bag is great for that. 120 pound bag is almost double the size and weight. I personally feel like the 120 pound bag handles my punches better. It doesn't move as much, although movement with the 75 pound bag is good because you can work on your defense, counters, slips. So the interesting thing about the 120 pound bag, if I were to compare it to the 75 pound bag, is that it jiggles a lot more. It has more jiggle and buoyancy to it, if you know what I mean. When I punch it, it's a little softer. Even when I'm going bare fist, look at that indentation I make here. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's just me in my bag, but that's the experience I'm having so far. It's a little bit softer to punch, but at the same time heavier. So it's a unique feeling and experience. Again, one of the best features about the aqua bag is the tear shaped design. This actually allows you to throw true uppercuts, true to form, getting right under, like you're going under the chin. And it's also great for throwing hooks and throwing a variety of angles. Whereas like a standard heavy bag, is just a straight, straight on object. This, you're able to come up top, go down low, side. And of course you have your straight punches. I just want to clarify something as well. A couple months back, I made my own DIY aqua bag uh, going through the Polyform brand on Amazon. So basically, I bought this buoy here and, um, you know, made my own aqua bag for cheap DIY. You know, after getting the actual aqua bag brand, the main difference I would say is in the feel. So the actual feel of the vinyl or rubber, whatever they're using, is way harder on the polyform bags. And actually an aqua bag representative reached out to me and said that polyform buoys are not meant to be filled with water. They're meant to be filled with air. So the technology is a bit different in how they um, modified it or designed it for the aqua bag brand. This is the Headhunter polyform, fills up to 35 pounds. Uh, as you can see, it has less give. It's more rigid doesn't indent as much when I make impact on my strikes. Also, when you buy the polyform buoy, it doesn't come with a bow shackle, it doesn't come with uh, any chains or uh, straps, and it doesn't come with a hose adapter, which the Aquabag brand bags do have. So again, comparing the 75 pound bag is a great all around bag. I would say this is great for starters or beginners who wanna upgrade their, their heavy bag training, but the 120 pound bag is more for advanced practitioners who wanna really focus on their power. Even the 75 pound bag doesn't have that much give. It doesn't have so much movement, even if you, you know, try to power up on it. Huh? 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 Huh?
So guys, another key feature of the Aqua Training Bag brand is that they are UV resistant. So they can withstand sunlight and the UV rays. Perfect bag if you wanna leave it outside. They're also waterproof, you know, being that they're water filled as well, which is another key factor why I love these bags. I will say another difference between the 120 pound bag and the 75 pound bag is that your punches may be thrown a little bit wider just because of the wider nature and a diameter of the aqua bag. But if you like throwing those loopy bolo type shots, this is such a fun bag to use. Now, when it comes to kicks and knees, you can absolutely do kicks, knees, elbows, all of those on this bag but I'd say it's not the most optimal for that, but you definitely can and you are able to. With knees and elbows, I feel like it is actually uh, really good for though, but for kicks, just because of the shape and design, it's a little odd. But again, you do have the ability to do that on this bag. Great for jump knees, boom, boom. All right, so getting down to the nitty gritty, if you guys had to choose between the 75 pound bag the 120 pound bag, I'd say it all depends on your experience level, and you know, maybe your height and weight, how hard of a puncher you are, what kind of fighting style you have. If you just like to rain down shots, you know, bust out that cardio and uh, get your reps in, I go with the 120 pound bag. If you're new, just starting out, when I just try out the aqua bags, the 75 pound bag might be the one for you. <laughs> Another thing to mention, if you guys are absolutely, you know, worried about storing this, leaving this in the heat, I live in California, so fortunately it doesn't get that hot here. But if you like live out in the desert, what I like to do, you know, just for extra protection, is just to wrap the bag with the towel. Loop it with a simple knot and face the main side of the towel, whichever direction the sun is beaming towards. And you can even just wrap two towels just for, you know, extra security. So also another added benefit of putting a towel over it is that you can actually punch the bag comfortably bare fist. And it's actually, it's actually genius for conditioning your knuckles bare fist and, and working on your positioning, shape and form of your fist and how your punches are landing. So sometimes I'll just put the towel on, you know, come outside, throw a few punches. <sighs> Problem solved. So yeah guys, that was the 120 pound 18 inch aqua bag review. As always, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I will get back to you. Stay on the lookout for future training videos with this bag. This is your boy Jason signing in, signing out. We'll see. Oh.